What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, by the title of the video, you pro probably guess what this is about. Um, so a couple weeks ago, a raccoon, I was driving on the highway and a raccoon literally just dashed out in front of the road and I hit it and my front bumper got destroyed. Um, I'm gonna take you guys outside right now and show you the damage, but the good news is that I'm getting it fixed today. We're about to go drop off the car and uh, work on it for a few days and hopefully when it, come back, when it comes back, it's good as new. All right, let's see what the damage is. All right, right now I got everything tied up, but the damage is pretty bad, so here we go. Let's check it out. Um, all the damage was pretty much done to the front bumper. Um, we got this tied up. My fog light's out. This entire trim is gone. There was a front trim here that went all the way across. It's gone. This is what the other side should look like. But... Inside though is really where we get things. My undercover skid plate is just destroyed. There's a massive hole in it. I don't know if you can see it. The brake cooler line is missing. Um, they said the fender well was all right when I got it estimated, but there's a huge hole right there. I'm not sure what other parts are missing motor-wise, but I've been able to drive without any problems, no engine lights on. But this entire thing is just destroyed. Rips, had it tied up with zip ties and cables and bungee cables. But just miss having, I thought this was pretty cool. I was just heard a buzzing and now there's a bee in the flower. Oh God. I'm actually pretty terrified of bees myself, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, everything should be getting fixed today. Um, filed insurance claims and scheduled my date to be fixed today. Hopefully, when we take it in, in a few days, it'll be as good as brand new. Oh, another thing is these clips. I don't know if you can see this. Let me try to get a better angle. These clips to where the, uh, the plate hooks into the front bumper have just been completely ripped out, so that's why this entire thing just sits on the ground. Um, yeah. Kind of sucks, but shit happens, you know? Alright, so I just picked up the loaner. Uh, I'm about to leave now. Hopefully by the time I come back, everything is fixed. Bye bye, BMW. See you later. Alright, so it's actually been a few days since I dropped at the car and I just got lazy, but I thought you guys might be interested in seeing what loaner car they gave me. Um, it's nothing special, but I thought you guys might like it anyway. Alright, let's well, check it out. Alright, so this is what they gave me. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I haven't been able to ride this since we've been waiting on insurance. Um, it's expired and we haven't renewed it yet, but... They gave me a Saturn Ion, nothing special, just something to get around. Um, automatic, nothing crazy. But it was really nice of them to give me a car. Um, I took my car to DNA Auto Shop um, down in the Kalamazoo area. So if you're from around here, they do a really good job with collisions. Um, they worked on my parents' cars a couple times after a couple accidents and They've done a good job ever since. Um, I don't really have any complaints as I can still get around, but I do miss driving my car. Um, I don't like front wheel drive and it just kind of sucks, but it's something to get around and I'm really happy with it. Um, as long as it was really nice of them to give me a car since I do know a lot of smaller like body shops don't have that option. Um, this place is a really is a really good place to do business with if you have like it's a collision center so if you ever have a collision with either I hit a raccoon or something and I would definitely recommend it um, hopefully when I get my car back it'll be just as good as new but I'm about to head to the gym guys and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later peace